walk into the uh, house with the temp star, you know, ICP, whatever you want to call it. You can just see how the grass needs mowing, and I'm not going to get out here on a lawnmower where it's 100 degrees and cut this stuff. But you can just see here, there's the road where I should be walking, but it is so hot. I just probably walked a mile and a half. I'm not going to disclose where my rental properties are for obvious reasons. That's why I'm filming the ground right now. We're just about here. Yeah. I don't have a key to get in right now because my contractor has the key. But if I had to get in, there's other means of me getting in. But uh, before I rent this place back out, there will be a startup shutdown video. And I just walked into the shade back here and it's probably 20 degrees cooler. But here's the little ICP unit. And if you notice something, all the weeds are gone and it's no longer in a jungle. Uh-huh, you can actually see the steps now and you can see the condenser. And if you notice, that coil got washed with some new bright, which is the uh, really acidic coil cleaner. And this coil was clogged up bad. When the AC guy put the uh, gauges on this thing, the head pressure was, I think like three something. It was 300 and something. And it wasn't even hot out yet. It was like 80 degrees outside. And, if the head pressure is 300 degrees, I mean, 300 degrees, let's meet. The head pressure is 300, uh, well, I'm trying to say it's so hot out here, I can't even think. If the head pressure is 300, suction pressure was 70, the charge is right, but with that head pressure being on the high side, that told me and the AC guy that the coil needed cleaning, and it really needed cleaning, and he took and you know, washed it off. I didn't have, uh, outdoor plumbing at the time, outdoor plumbing meaning uh, spigots where you can screw a hose on. So we had to take a mop bucket and splash this thing with uh, water to get the coil cleaner off of it. But uh, once we washed the coil, it could hold on to that liquid line all day. And this thing here is getting up in age. It's an 03 and the furnace is 30 something years old. When we get to look at the Copeland compressor, it's CR32, it's the original compressor. And I don't like that right there, but I'm not going to fix it until it breaks because if it shorts out, it'll blow the breaker and then it'll go from there. But I don't remember the last time I was able to actually get back here to this, but. You can see that all the paint came off the coil, these ICPs, they paint them, but you could not see through that coil before we cleaned it. I mean, it's smooshed in on some places, but it's not terribly bad, but you can actually see through that coil pretty darn good, especially down here at the bottom, it was bad, and I could see through it. It's a lot cleaner than it was, and we did find some uh, coil rot down here on the bottom, the coil is starting to come apart. I mean, that is really starting to come apart. I, mean, I could just peel this off all day long. Um, this unit's actually in not the world's greatest shape, but as long as it works, I'm not going to replace it. Because chances are, if I replace it, it's going to be a package unit. Because you might have recalled in the last video, I said I don't even know if I'm keeping this trailer or not, but. Turns out I am keeping the trailer, but man, that coil is just, look at that, it's just peeling right off. There's part of the coil right there. But yeah, like AC guy said, run it till she quits. Look right, there's a whole piece of aluminum coil. This thing's got some pretty bad coil rot, worse than the Frigidaire has. Doesn't leak Freon though, he checked the uh, pressures and Freon was good, he checked it before cleaning it and then after cleaning it but like I said that coil was so clogged up you couldn't see through it anyways you guys I've got to 
long walk back to air conditioning. Like I said, I'm not going to disclose where these uh, mobile homes are. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. It took me a minute to figure that out. And uh, stay tuned for plenty more videos. It's just that I've been so busy fixing this place up and doing other things that I haven't had time to make any videos. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Just, as always, remember there's plenty more older videos of mine to watch. There'll be plenty more new ones. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Over and out.